incredible scenes here in Bristol tonight as a Don't Bomb Syria protest march took an interesting turn when hundreds of protesters sat down and occupied the one-way system of Bristol. They've been here maybe three to four hours now and are planning to stay the night. So Park Street has been shut down, there's traffic all around Bristol tonight and there's a real party atmosphere going on. Hayden. I've come down to show solidarity with everybody else in Bristol who feels the same way as I do. Every time I come to a protest, it's nice to come down and every face I see, I know they feel the same way. We had a very big turnout earlier, they still haven't done the vote. It upsets me that people have gone home. People are sat at home watching their soaps, having a cup of tea, whilst people's lives are in the balance right now. And Syria, that's such a small part of the conflict. Right now, we're in our Christmas decorations. We've got electricity, infrastructure, but we're out because we care. And right now, people are pulling their children out of rubble. People aren't sat down with a cup of tea. They're trying to gather their charred possessions, and it sickens me. And if I can come down and make someone listen, just one person listen, that's enough. It's not enough. It'll never be enough. But it's better, more than I'm going to do, sat at home not saying nothing. And how long have you been occupying this particular spot? Uh, I finished work at five. thought, thank God for that, they haven't left me. So I got off the bus, ran up Park Street, been here since about half past five. So like, well, that's three hours now, wow. Yeah, yeah, and I call in the decision at ten. And these are the people that truly care, because we're the people waiting to see people's lives are in the balance right now. Listen carefully.